Welcome to Mr. Peacock and Friends. I wonder what Mr. Peacock will be doing today. Let's find out, but first I have to find him. Do you know what Mr. Peacock is? Mr. Peacock! Mr. Peacock! I'm here! Oh, there you are, Mr. Peacock. We're wondering what you're going to be doing today. Today, I'm going to be taking you to a museum that features a very famous person. A famous person? Who is it? Oh, I can't tell you. I like him. He is so... Oh, I almost gave it up. Oh, you did? I did. <laughs> Let's go show everybody before I say anything further. Shall we go see? Come on, Mrs. Peacock. Okay. Let's go. Come on, folks. Let's go. There it is. Here's Johnny. Yep, there he is. We are in Norfolk, Nebraska at the special museum that houses all of Johnny Carson's memorabilia from The Tonight Show, and this was his hometown. Yes, that's right. Johnny's here with me right now. It's so fun to see everything. They have a standard exhibition hall here with some of the things that are here all the time, and right behind us is something very special that's a traveling part of his memorabilia, and it's so fun to see all these things that we used to see on TV many years ago. Yes, that's right, and I think we should look around a little bit, but you know what? Why? I think we should go find some more hidden treasures. I think we should. Let's go. Okay. Let's go check this museum out. Yes, let's do that. And here's a replica of the stage that Johnny used to come out and do his monologue on it. This is where the camera would be like, and the boom mic. That here's Mrs. Peacock. Yes, that's right. There's Johnny. I can't tell you how many times I've watched his show and wished to be on it, and then I did get to go on it, but unfortunately, it was about two years too late. Johnny retired, and I got to do The Tonight Show with Jay. This is a fun little place to come visit. Mrs. Peacock, read to us something about that monologue that's here. Well, the sign says, the monologue. Johnny Carson's monologue at the beginning of every Tonight Show became a late night ritual for millions of Americans. For almost three decades, the seven minute monologues allowed him to amuse the audiences with observations about politics, unique news stories, and popular culture. Most viewers never realized that Carson stood on a six inch white star while delivering his monologue. At the end of the monologue, Carson would announce the show's guests and with his signature golf swing, send America into another evening of late night television. We're gonna show you a quick run through of all the memorabilia. You have to come here and see it yourself. It's gonna take a lot of time to see all these wonderful things. Yes, that's right. You really should come see them. Tell us what you found, Mrs. Peacock. This is about Johnny the Great Carson. At age 12, Johnny rode away for a magic kit. The ad promised to make him the life of the party. Ultimately, he added ventriloquism to his act. You've just seen the Johnny Carson Gallery Museum in Norfolk, Nebraska. Yeah, they have a little room in there that they call the Johnny Carson Gallery, and they have a stage, and they have Johnny Carson, a statue of him, and all kinds of pictures and stuff, so it was interesting. I love Johnny. As you know, tonight's show is very important to me since I was on it, but I missed Johnny. He retired before I got to get on the Tonight Show. Yes, that's right, but you know what? You can buy a picture of Johnny. I got a Christmas ornament and Johnny's pictures on it. Yes, this ornament's gonna go so nicely on our Christmas tree this Christmas and I can't wait to show everybody this ornament of the famous talk show host. No, not again. Yeah, time's up, we gotta go. Oh, but do we have to? But we gotta go, time's up. Okay, okay, if that's the case, then I'll say see you all later. That's right, next time at Mr. Peacock and Friends, we'll see what's happening on the Peacock Farm. Right, Mr. Peacock? Mr. Peacock is gone. He must be off on another adventure. So until next time, on Mr. Peacock and Friends, I'll see you later. Mr. Peacock, Mr. Peacock.